think every soldier or airman or, you know, whatever uh, military they're in. The highest they ever got was E4. 11 Bravo, Infantry, U.S. Army. They move into an area, they find the nearest VFW or American Legion, and they come in and have a drink, you know. And if nobody comes in, they're out of business. I did that, and this place was, was suffering, man. I mean, they didn't have hardly anybody here ever. I mean, they had one of the members paying the utilities to keep the lights on. There's been times where we really got worried. Now, you weren't a veteran when I was a kid, right? I decided to, to take charge, you know. I was like, I'm going to be the post commander here. I have a lot of trauma, I come from a back, whole background of trauma prior even entering the military. I have PTSD. I got hurt pretty bad in Iraq. The right side of my body was crushed. I lost a, a really good friend. I saw some really heinous acts. I saw violence. Uh, I saw good and evil. And it shaped me. It, it has changed my world perspective. I would say a part of me joining the military was seeking death. My own. You know, they're in pain, man. You jump out of the back of a deuce and a half and they start handing shotguns to everybody. For whatever reason, I feel safe here. That's the whole reason that I, I became the post commander here. Is <laughs> because I wanted to give people a place to go that's safe. I get to be a person here that I don't get to be in the rest of the world. <laughs> I put in some, some hours and, and working on myself. What this post offers me the opportunity to do is not do it alone. How you guys doing? No, oh, yeah, it's like our church right here. <laughs> I guess I'm the pastor. <laughs> that's, a, that's a crazy thought. There is an adage among the infantry that the sky is blue because God loves the infantry. <laughs> a safe place where people can come and get their stories out. This is where we survived and died, rejoiced and bled, formed bonds of brotherhood that could never be broken and shed unapologetic tears for the ones that couldn't carry on any further. I was self-medicating with wine, beer, and whiskey, all to stop the pain. I'm able to check out of whatever's going on in my head, the fears, the anxiety of will my daughters remember me because I haven't seen them for five days. And I know that's silly, but uh, you know, it's there. I hate my body. Dragon boating specifically has dramatically I hate my body. Changed my outlooks. Yeah. Paddlers, prepare to start. Drop I get on the water. I better hear you, Sean. I feel like I'm able to connect with myself again. <laughs> Oh, get it, baby! Get it, baby! It's remarkable how having a common goal and sharing and sweat and pain Give us more! can make you feel not so alone. And let it run! Feeling that, that you belong. I feel like I'm closer to most of these guys here than I am with most of my own family. <laughs> I'm just proud to know them. It's a big family. And, you know, I love these guys. American Legion, Post 134.